always the situation in my bathroom after I'm done my hair. Just a bunch of OGX products sitting here. <laughs> Now before we get into the rest of the vlog and I take you guys through a couple days of my life, I wanted to let you know that today's video is so kindly sponsored by OGX. You guys already know how much I love and adore their products that I thought it could be kind of fun to show you how I like to use their products throughout the week and of course share with you my current favorites. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. Hopefully you guys enjoy the hair content that's weaved into this vlog, but yeah, let's get back to it. So we're starting off this morning, we have a shoot, sorry there's construction, but we're huddled in the car, I'm going to touch up my hair because it's absolutely pouring rain outside. So I brought with me the Argan Oil of Morocco Dry Shampoo, which is one of my faves, and also the Aspen Extract Texture Dry Texture Finishing Spray. These two products, I actually, I tend to bring OGX products with me before, or like when I go shoot, just so I can touch up my hair, especially dry shampoo, I feel like it's one of those things that I always want to have like extra with me because it adds volume, soaks up the oil, and on days like this, if I had to like go outside, come back in the car, and then go shoot again, like you never know what state your hair is gonna be in, so. It's very exciting what we're shooting for today. Lipstick check. Um, we're shooting some stuff for holiday giveaways, so we're gonna go do that. We're a little bit late, so we need to go, so. Talk to you guys after. All right, we're back in the car from the shoot. Everything went well, I mean, the weather, is like kind of awful so the lighting's not going to be the best but i'm so glad cody thought to bring an extra light and i think that helps so much it's pouring rain out but we stopped at grounds for coffee and we sneakily cheekily got some cinnamon buns they are the absolute best they're so gooey and delicious and then he got us cappuccinos lattes cappuccinos Cappuccino. so that's our little breakfast stop before cody goes to work and I go home. So it's been a few hours. I was doing some emails, some editing, that kind of stuff, but I wanted to sit down because I got a really exciting package in the mail. First off, I love this background. The tree looks so cute and me and my little like sweater dress thing is so festive, which is actually so funny because I was wearing this exact same outfit in an OGX video last year around this time. If you saw that, I did like hairstyling for the holidays. So that's pretty funny. It's a great sweater dress. I love it. Also because it has like a little tie so it like cinches in. Very cute. So while I was doing emails, I got a knock at the door and then I got a very exciting red package here. It's from Casetify, so I figured I could open it up on camera. I love Casetify cases. This one is from Casetify. It's just like white cheetah. I also have the black version of this because I like what I like. And so, yeah, it was super kind of them to send me something, so I wanted to open it up. Also, this box is really pretty. I hope I can repurpose this for a Christmas gift. Little card says, you deserve this. You survived 2020. That's really fun. Okay, so they sent two face masks, a coral and a black. That was super nice. And then we have two phone cases. This one is like presents, which is super cute. There's a custom one. It's like a copper rose goldy reflection and it says Michaela at the bottom. So sweet. What a fun festive package, right Snicks? Look at where he's sitting. Hi. I just finished up shooting some campaign pictures, hence the red lipstick and the earrings. It was a holiday picture. I wore this red top behind me and then quickly changed back into sweatpants because it's uh, way more comfortable. But yeah, this picture that I just shot will be live when this video is. So go check out my Instagram to see it. This is so random, but it has been so cold in the apartment and under our door, there's like such a big space and in the hallway they blast like what I'm thinking is AC. The air coming through is so cold. So I've been keeping this little mat tucked up. I really should get one of those like sticky things that, you know, blocks it. But for now, that's what it looks like. That's what's keeping our apartment heated. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Earlier we mentioned that we were getting cinnamon buns, the best cinnamon buns in town, so we thought we'd give you guys a look before we devour them. 
It is about 4.45 on Wednesday now. Today has just been a slower day for me, TMI, but I have really bad cramps, so I didn't really like vlog much today. And I just had a very nice afternoon shower. I love days like this when I can just take a nice relaxing shower slash bath in the afternoon, especially when I'm feeling the way I do. And it was really nice because I was able to really hydrate my hair. It had been many days since I washed my hair. <laughs> I love OGX products because it keeps my hair clean for a long time, but also the styling products helps keep my style and the longevity of that so I don't have to wash my hair as often, which is really great on color treated hair. I just find it easier to only wash my hair a couple times a week, keep the style as long as possible. That's actually kind of an interesting question. Let me know in a comment down below how often you wash your hair a week or how long you go without washing your hair. I'm very curious because I feel like everyone's kind of all over the board with this. Some people are like once a week, some people are every second day. Curious, let me know in a comment down below. I use the OGX Extra Strength Damage Remedy plus Coconut Miracle Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. And then I also use a hair mask, which I really, really like. All of these products are super hydrating. They smell like luxurious coconut tropical goodness. So I basically just use the shampoo and conditioner in the shower, rinse those out, and then my cramps were so bad that I just sat in the bath and I use the hair mask. You're supposed to only leave this on for one to three minutes, but I always leave my hair mask on for a lot longer to really soak in. So I ran myself a bubble bath, I sat in there, put the hair mask in my hair, and then I always clip up my hair when I use a hair mask or any like deep conditioner just so it doesn't sit on my back and cause back knee. And uh, I just sat there and relaxed and it was so nice. I listened to some podcasts and it just made me feel all warm and cozy. I love baths so much, they make me feel so good. So we're fresh out of the shower now. I'm about to blow dry my hair because I don't like wet hair. And this is pretty typical. Like I'll wash my hair one night and then I'll style it the next day. So I'll show you guys tomorrow how I style it. But in the meantime, I need to dry this. And if you guys don't use protection or like <laughs> protection, I mean, you should use protection anyway. I mean, you know what I mean? Um, but if you're not using heat protectant on your hair, you should also use that. <laughs> this is the Protecting Plus Silk Blowout Quick Dry Thermal Spray. I really like this, it smells so good and I just douse my hair in this. And also just like any products in general that you use on damp hair after the shower, I feel like make the biggest difference on like the frizziness of your hair, how well it blow dries, how fast it blow dries. And people, I get a lot of DMs about products that people have like dry hair and I feel like adding like serums and heat protectants and like all of this kind of stuff will only benefit your hair in the long run. I'm gonna brush it out. And it's just one of those things that if you're into protecting your hair and you wanna have the best hair you can, you really do have to use kind of a lot of products to maintain the softness, the shininess, the hydration, all of those things. It's definitely like an upkeep, but I mean, it feels good and if it blow dries your hair a lot faster then it's a win-win. And then when it comes to blow drying, I just do a rough dry of everything. And then towards the end, once everything's like 70 to 80% dry, I'll go in with my hairbrush and kind of just run that through. I've showed you guys this like quite a few times in videos. So I'm gonna do this quickly. Also a tip, I always flip my head over and blow dry. It adds volume. And honestly, it's just an easier position to blow dry your hair in. I don't know, I've always just done it. And here we go, here is the completely blow dried hair. Super soft, super shiny, smells really good. And actually that blow dry time, I feel like maybe took me under 10 minutes. So that product really does work and it feels really good. Everything looks really fresh and clean. Like I said, we will style it tomorrow cause I just never do it all in one day. It's too much work. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Welcome to Thursday. It's American Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, guys, even though you're gonna see this like next week. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. I'm having a very productive morning already. I did my makeup, which I think turned out really nice. I spent some extra time on my eyeshadow and it turned out really nice. Also, this lip color is so good. I used two different colors from the Bite Beauty pack that I'm actually giving away for my 12 days of giveaways. And if you haven't seen my previous vlog where I share all of the things I'm giving away, then you might wanna go check that out. And also stay tuned in this video for something fun. So I'm gonna sit on the floor and do my hair and show you guys how I do it. I don't have the best cord situation in this room now that I have my computer in here. So this is the best spot. Hopefully everything is good and you can see it properly. I also need obviously a mirror, so 
we're sitting in front of my big mirror so like i was saying yesterday i usually wash my hair one day and then i'll blow dry it sleep on it and then i will style it the next day it's just like nicer to break it up and also not to have so much heat on my hair at one time and for my curling wand i like to use the biggest barrel i have sometimes i will put my little barrel on and go in and touch things up if i want a tighter curl i also separate my hair into uh this fashionable hairstyle my hair is still so soft hopefully it holds a curl and I don't want to leave it on too long. I do about 10 seconds because I'm looking for a looser curl and I do always hold out the ends. The same technique goes when I'm parting my hair in the middle. I feel like I've had a couple questions of people being like, can you show me like how to style your hair, how you style your hair when you have a middle part? And it's pretty much the same technique. I just make sure that if my hair is parted in the middle, I will curl my front pieces outward. Bye, love you. And lately I have just been trying to do this a little bit faster just so the curl ends up being looser, it takes up less time, and it just looks like a more undone instead of like polished. And of course, as you wear the hairstyle, the days it'll become more like loose and beachy and that's just what I like. You can also alternate with size of pieces you take. I feel like I usually stay pretty uniform, but it's kind of nice to take some larger pieces and mix them in with some smaller pieces just to get kind of a variety of curls. Now, before I take the top half down to curl, I'm going to spray the Smoothing Plus Shea Sleek Humidity Blocking Hairspray from OGX. I love this stuff. It smells so good. And I just do a light spritz of this, especially since my hair is still like super soft and like clean i want to just make sure that the curls are going to hold so i do a quick spritz of that and then i'll move on to the second half here and for the top i generally work from the back to the front and again same technique forward backward leave a little bit out hold it for about 10 seconds and you can hold the curl too in your hand before you let it go So technically I am done styling my hair. If I were to just leave it, this could be fine, but we can make it so much better with products. So first thing I'm gonna do, because we already sprayed the bottom half, I'm gonna go back in with the humidity blocking hairspray and give a quick spritz of this. I already talked about this product earlier in the video. This is the Extra Strength Refresh and Revitalize Argan Oil of Morocco Dry Shampoo. This is so good. I love it so much. <laughs> it's my like go-to favorite dry shampoo at the moment. And even though I do have clean hair, I do like to go in and just add some dry shampoo to the roots because it really adds volume. And you guys did see at the beginning of the video that I used all four of these products because they're my go-to favorite OGX styling products and that I was refreshing like third day, maybe fourth day hair by that point. So these work on like fresh hair, but also when you're trying to refresh a style. So dry shampoo is in, we got a little bit of volume, great. Next I'm gonna go in, you guys probably already know this is one of my favorites. This is the Natural Finish Aspen Extract Texture Dry Texture Finishing Spray. And I feel like this is one of those underdog products at the drugstore because all of OGX products are so affordable and you can spend like so much money on one styling product and you're like, hey great, I have a really awesome hairspray. But with OGX, you can have a variety of styling products that do different things because everything's so affordable, works so well, it just makes so much sense. And I feel like styling products is one of those things that maybe people don't necessarily find necessary, if that makes sense, but they change the way your hair looks and just makes your hair super versatile and you're able to change up the style, the look, just using products. So the Dry Texture Spray is one of those products that you can get from a different brand that's like so expensive, but they have a great affordable option and it's so good and it lasts you so long. It seriously works so well. I'm going to spray this in the ends. This kind of just adds some grit and texture obviously back to your hair especially if it's clean if you're going to be teasing your hair at all this is another great product to use for that especially if you're doing like a big ponytail you can kind of spray this in and like zhuzh it up it works really well so running my hands through already is looking so much better just a little bit more messy which is what I prefer when it comes to my curled hair. And you guys can already see that my hair has so much body too when I brush out and use these products. 
Okay, the last product that I have really been enjoying, this one is my newer favorite, but this is the Extra Strength Shine and Revitalize Plus Argan Oil of Morocco Dry Oil Shine Mist. And I didn't think that this would be a product that I would like, but when I started using it, I was like, yeah, no, I love this because it adds so much shine, obviously back to your hair if it's not freshly clean again. This is a great product, but I love dry oil because it hydrates your hair. It just makes your hair look super healthy and I love applying it to the ends. Again, it smells so good and so fresh. It literally smells like you just washed your hair. So clean and who wouldn't want to add extra shine? So good. And compared to what my hair looked like about five minutes ago, this is a great place to be. It's very full, it's fresh, it's like voluminous, and the style will hold for many days, which I very much appreciate. And I know I talk about OGX products so much, and I've worked with them for the past two years, which I'm so grateful for, but I genuinely believe in these products so, so hard. I feel like a lot of people think that if you wanna have the best hair, you have to spend the most money and have the most luxurious products, and that's absolutely not true. And OGX makes it really, really accessible to have amazing hair at a really affordable price. And some of their products are chef's kiss. And I feel like if you haven't tried anything from OGX, definitely try out their stylers because they make such a difference. You guys saw what my hair looked like before and what it looks like now. And that's me curling my hair, which is so simple. and is what I do basically all the time, but adding these products really just elevates the style and just makes it look so much better. If you haven't checked out OGX styling products after listening to me for two years talking about them, go freaking try them because they're so good. And these are my like four staples. So if you need four to be recommended, these are my four, <laughs> but I just, I love them all. And you can truly find something for every single type of hair, which I love and appreciate from this brand so, so much because everyone has different hair types and everyone has different hair textures and different hair needs. And they really kind of cater to the masses, which I very much appreciate. And I think is really cool. So that's my little love note to OGX. I love them so much. And these stylers are my favorite. <laughs> I'm just about to hop on to a Zoom event slash meeting kind of thing and I'm shoving my face with some overnight oats first because I haven't eaten yet today. This is the blueberry mixture. I think I showed it in my productive uh, work from home tips video, kind of what was in it. So if you want to go check it out, it's delicious and I highly recommend and it's a great little breakfast slash snack to keep in your fridge when you're going to be busy. So I'm going to hop on that call and I'll talk to you guys after. I feel like this little Christmas ribbon is going to be like an elf on the shelf kind of moment where it's just going to pop up in the background of my videos. I don't know. Anyway, just got a couple deliveries from FedEx, so I figured we would open them to see what they are. Ooh! First one is from Giorgio Armani. Fancy! Look at this box. Oh my gosh, the wrapping paper on here. Luxurious 20 years of beauty. Sorry, I bumped the camera. This paper is really nice though. So we have a bunch of their Lip Maestro products. There's five of them. They look like this. I'll have to open them later. Hello. That is so cool. <laughs> I love that. That's a really nice fabric too. Very breathable. I'll open up one of the lipsticks to show you guys. This is what, ooh, I like that color. That's what she looks like. Very pretty. The next package came in a 100% compostable bag, which is great. Good job, cover girl. This is their Lash Blast Clean Volume Mascara. I love the color of that. Excited to try it. Formulated without parabens, sulfates, talc, mineral oil, and heal. And it's vegan. Also, if you guys are looking for some holiday hair inspo, you wanna try something different, I have an IGTV up of my like low slick bun, which can be really cool depending if you have like a turtleneck on, some dangly earrings, it can look really sleek. I also love playing around and accessorizing with headbands. I think that they're really cute and can add like a little bit more something to your hair, you know? This pearl one's super cute for the holidays and then I wore this one actually a lot last year. I don't know if big headbands are in, but I like what I like. So yeah, I think this one's really cute. I think I wore this with um, the blazer actually in an OGX picture last year. This one here, so cute. Um, I just think it's kind of fun and different. Also too, any scrunchies. I was wearing a green one earlier in this video and you saw like my half up, half down. I love playing around with scrunchies as well. And then if you wanna try out that super trendy like bobble hairstyle, that's super fun or even like a braided pony or just like a super sleek pony for the holidays, I think that could look really cool for like New Year's. And I mean, I don't think we're 
going out much but if you want to try these at home then that's kind of fun i definitely recommend the natural finish plus aspen texture molding paste for that i use this for a lot of my dance hairstyles and when i'm styling my hair when I want something super sleek, it's so great. And instead of using Cody's products, I have my own. So you just take a bit, rub in your hands, it'll go on white and then it'll get clear and then you can like slick your hair back. It works so well, I really, really enjoy it. So just wanted to mention that in case you guys are looking for a product that helps like super slick your hair because I know that those styles are super in right now and that's a really great product to use for those. Well friends, I think this is where I'm going to leave you for today's video, but before you click out, don't do it yet. I have something very exciting to share with you. And that is, there is currently an OGX giveaway happening right this very second on my Instagram. We are giving away a huge prize pack and you can win a bunch of my favorite products from OGX and just a bunch of products in general. So if you want to check that out, highly recommend head over to my Instagram to enter that. I will have a link in the description box that goes directly to the giveaway as well as to OGX. Again, huge thank you to them for sponsoring this video. And if you have an extra second, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help and support my channel and I appreciate it very much. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't turned on post notifications, do that too. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be in a couple days. Have a great day. Bye. Love you.